This one we have a cosecant this time, negative 3 cosecant x minus 4, pi over 4. So inside here, the, since we have something that comes after the x, that's actually going to be a phase shift. So the graph is going to move opposite direction of the sign that I see here. So because I have a minus sign, that means the graph is going to end up moving to the right. Now when I find my phase shift, that's automatically going to tell me where the graph is going to begin. So I don't have to worry about which direction it's going to go in because my phase shift automatically tells me where the graph begins. So let's fill out this information here. First of all, amplitude. The number in front of the cosecant this time is negative 3, so we're going to do absolute value negative 3 is going to be uh, positive 3. Next, we're going to do period. The period is 2 pi divided by the number in front of the x. Now in this case, we have a 1 in front of there, so you're going to do 2 pi divided by 1 means that your period is going to be 2 pi. So anytime you just have a regular x by itself, it's just your normal period, 2 pi. Phase shift is going to be the opposite sign of your c, which is the number after the x, over b, the number in front of the x. So if you do that, it's going to be positive pi over 4 over 1. So positive pi over 4 would be your phase shift. We took the opposite sign of that and we got pi over 4. That means that the graph is going to now begin at pi over 4. That's the first, the starting point on my graph. So when I do this, it's shifted to the right. That means I'm starting it right here at pi over 4. But I have to find the other four key points there. So here's the first one. I'm using my quarter points in order to find the rest of them. So what you do is you take the, you want to find the quarter point by finding the period, which is 2 pi in this problem. That's what we found in that second step there, divided by 4. And when we do that, I'll leave it with the same denominator. Since I notice I already have the same denominator as 4 as for phase shift, I don't need to worry about reducing that because it'll make it easier to add if I just keep them all in terms of the same denominator. So pi over 4, I'm going to add my quarter point to it, add 2 pi over 4, and I get 3 pi over 4. We add 2 more, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and then 9 pi over 4. So here's, this is going to be all of our different uh, key points. If we take the 9 pi over 4 minus the pi over 4, we get 8 pi over 4, which is actually 2 pi. So that's how you can tell you did your key points correctly. We still have the correct period there. Your, uh, this goes up to 3, so I'll mark this 3 and negative 3 there. So we have, this is our, our amplitude. When we start this, we're going to actually draw a sine graph because again, cosecant and sine are related to each other. I want to do the sine to set this one up. Now that sine graph has to start here on the x-axis. Now I'm not going to start it here because the graph got shifted over to the right. It starts at pi over 4, so I'm starting it down there. Normally, if I have a, a positive sine graph, I would go up. But in this case, I'm pretending that this is a sine, so I have a negative 3 sine. So negative means we have to actually start by going down. So we're going to go down here then up to that one, back up to 7 pi over 4, and then we're going to go down to 9 pi over 4 there. So here's a dotted line. I'm going to put through here what my sine graph is going to look like. And then, I'm going to, every place where it crosses 0, I'm going to draw in these dotted lines. And then when I draw that in, now this is my setup for the graph. The graph itself for the cosecant is going to look like that. It's going to come down here, it'll be solid. Down there, it'll touch that sine graph at the very bottom there. The other one is going to go like this. So now I have the, the, only, the actual graph itself is going to be the solid line that you see here. So this part and also that part. And of course, remember it continues forever because this pattern keeps on going. So you have one up, one down, one up, one down. It keeps doing that all the way across. But this would be considered one period.